G'day Battlers, and today we're doing some Go Battle League, because it has been released for the second time now, so uh, it is back, and it looks like it's working all good, uh, so we're doing the free tiers, we're not doing the premium stuff, so, I mean, yeah, let's just hop straight into it. So we are going in with Bastidon, Altari, and Whiskash. Whiskash was a poor choice, I think, uh, because as we see up against 6 Sky Nox 6 here, in our very first Go Battle League battle, uh, we were kind of feeling about Azumarill. Azumarill is something that lots of people are going to be using, and we did not bring a good Azumarill counter. Bastidon, really going to get hurt by the Hydro Cannons, uh, Hydro Pumps, sorry, so we're like, okay, let's switch out, we'll go to Whiskash, hope that we can kind of just bring down some pain with the Mud Bomb Spam, uh, we tank the player off, maybe we could have shielded, but I'm sure we can just shield with the next two charge moves, it's not like the bubble's going to be taking us out uh, anyway, hopefully at least, uh, but another charge move coming already, so maybe he was charging up to the Hydro Pump to throw on the Bastidon, now just going for the player offs. So we shield at the player up because Whiskash really doesn't like them that much, as you may have noticed from before. But uh, throwing another Mud Bomb, kind of hoping that the Zoom is going to tank as much as we throw at it at this point so that we have a chance of recovery later on by getting rid of the Azumarill, which it does look like that's what he's letting us do, which is fantastic for us at the moment. And yeah, he's letting that Azumarill go down, which is absolutely like, it's the best thing that could have happened. Now, we're going to let Whiskash go down here so we can kind of keep the shield for a later matchup. Uh, we do lose the switch advantage, so we're going to have to bring in another Pokemon. Then he's going to be able to bring in a possible counter to us. We're hoping that he doesn't have one, seeing as it was Azumarill, uh, but he brings in Primate. So Primate, Definitely going to be putting the hurt onto Bastidon, so we switch out into Altaria quick fast, hoping this is just a Night Slash, and it is, so we can tank the Night Slashes, uh, just hoping that he doesn't get the uh, the buff, which is a 1 in 8 chance if I'm remembering correctly. He still has both shields though, which is something I have to keep in mind, uh, and he actually throws a close combat, which uh, isn't great uh, against Altaria, but it does do more damage than, than the Night Slash, and does reduce the defense of that Primate, so it was going down really quickly to the Dragon Breaths. Uh, and then brings in Meganium as the ping at the back. Now we're trying to burn those last shields, and we're just so lucky that we were able to get a second Sky Attack off to burn his second last shield, or else this game would be kaput. There would be no chance. So he takes down our Altaria, and then Bassidon, getting able to come in, throw this flamethrower. It won't finish off the Meganium, but uh, we still have a shield, so we're going to be able to shield up the Frenzy Plant that's coming our way, and then we should just clutch be able to get a Flamethrower off to win our first Go Battle League battle. And that's entirely down to being able to take down that Azumarill uh, but because the opponent didn't shield them up. Uh, so if, if Azumarill was protected at all from our Mud Bombs, we could definitely be in a world of hurt. Uh, but GG's, and then moving on to our second opponent, uh, coming with Vile Plume. So we were kind of still playtesting, kind of going, okay, maybe we put in some big damage up against Yellow Rat Snake. Still in the tier one. Uh, I think I've got all the tier one battles, and then I might be missing some of the tier two. But we have Vile Plume versus Mistrevis. Mistrevis is one that a lot of people, myself included, just happen to have sitting around under that 1500 mark. So I'm sure that's exactly what this player is. Uh, there's definitely a lot of casuals that are coming in, trying things out, which is a little bit unfortunate because uh, someone that is just putting in the three recommended is going up against someone who, you know, they could, they could be put up against Valorash, and Valorash is going to wreck them. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate. I'm sure it'll balance out as soon as the seasons begin. Uh, now, Vileplume, we throw the charge move, and Mighty Unit does shield. Uh, and, it, and it does look like it's Fire Fang, which is going to do a lot to Vileplume. And they were getting some lag, which I didn't quite realize immediately, and I was kind of like in the moment, really didn't want to lose. Uh, so we did stop attacking eventually uh, to let them kind of rejoin the battle, like not keep lagging. Uh, but it does look like the lag is persisting. Uh, we get a Stone Edge off here. Uh, we obviously don't want to. We want to be fair, basically. I don't want to, like, scare this person off from PvP forever, you know? So we bring in the Polyrath, shield up the charge moves, and we're just going to be going straight for the Hydro Pump because there's no more shields on the board, so we just have to get at that Hydro Pump and we will win the battle, basically. Uh, I think he did miss another attack or two there, but we still have a shield, so this Earth Power is not going to come through. No, uh, we actually do get the defense uh, drop, but we've got this Hydro Pump anyway, uh, and, yeah, this, this will close out the match. So that is GG's. 
Uh, so that's two wins out of two, so a nice little start here. Uh, and we do get to claim the rewards too, which is very nice. Although if you haven't heard already, you have to like go out of the Go Battle League and then go back into it to be able to claim the rewards. But up against Rex or Go here, again, going with some heavy hitters. So we've got uh, Victory Bell for the Razor Leaf, then we have Wiggly Tuff at the back. Uh, but we're up against Atropius, and it is an Air Slash Tropius by the looks of it. So not even Razor Leaf, so really not a good situation at all. We switch into Bastidon just to try and save some grace. Uh, but brings in the Swamp Pit. We're really in a terrible situation here. Our charge moves aren't going to do much to Swamp Pit at all. He's going to be able to do a whole lot to us. Uh, this is definitely not great here and it is not looking great for us. Uh, at the very least, we are going to have... Uh, we're going to have Wigglytuff going up against the Tropius maybe. So, like, that's not as bad as the... Uh, our victory bell up against Tropius, but uh, does use the Hydro Cannon to take us down there before we get another charge move off. Still no shields used, but we were hoping that victory bell could come in, finish off the swamp pretty quick smart. Uh, we're just gonna we do shield up the Hydro Cannon to keep victory bell for hopefully whatever he has as his third Pokemon. Uh, we were thinking about letting it hit us, uh, but we just went, hey, we should probably just keep this victory bell. Maybe we can get the acid spray off. But uh, it is an Aerial Ace, we were really hoping that he had Leaf Blade to cover him up with that Air Slash, but he is, he's is he got a double fly Atropius, it's really not great for us. We switch into Wigglytuff, hoping that we can charm it down, shield up an Aerial Ace to keep Wigglytuff as healthy as possible, and he still has both shields, so it's really not good for us at all. Like, at all. Uh, and in comes a Leaf Blade, so it's actually got it, he's got it double moved, uh, so which isn't great for us in this situation, uh, but Wigglytuff up against the Second Armory, there's, there's nothing we can do, especially seeing as he's still got both shields. We throw the Ice Beam as some form of desperation, but nothing we can do here. It, it's, it's GG's, uh, so yeah. Down to Victory Bell goes, and that is GG. So our first loss, which is unfortunate, but we're just going to keep going. And up against now, finding, 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 finding... Probably should have cut this bit down a bit, but Gus180993. Uh, so we're going in with some slightly more meta picks now. This is actually the team that I've been using ever since, and I've not lost a single bat. Oh no, never mind, never mind. I thought it was, but we've got Skun Tank, Kingdra, and Bastidon. Uh, but spoilers. The best pick that I've had in this whole Go Battle League is Skuntank lead, followed by Bastidon and Altaria in the back. So Skuntank is catching a lot of the Azuma rules that are being used, a lot of the grass types. There's a lot of poison damage uh, that can be done to these lead Pokemon that people are using. Uh, and then I've got Altaria and Bastidon just really kind of cover, cover each other. Bastidon takes out the Flyers, Altaria takes out the grass types, the kind of fighters, the everything in between. Uh, and yeah, doing really well. But hopping back into actually the actually looking at the battles now, we've got Bastion up against Politoed, which isn't great, but they've burned both of their shields now. So we're just gonna let this come through. And it is a blizzard, which is absolutely fantastic for us. Uh, so we're gonna be able to get this stone edge off and this should finish off the Politoed. Uh, if Politoed had like Earthquake or Surf, we would be done for, but again, probably just going in with what they've got hanging around at the 1500 mark. And it is Raikou, so we're hoping to get a Stone Edge off, but it doesn't really matter either way. And he does actually use a Charge Move here when we had 1 HP, which uh, I think that comes from just not being experienced, because obviously uh, people who are really into PvP would know, farm them down, get the Charge Move off onto the next Pokemon, but they've got no more shield, so Skuntank going to be able to come in here, throw the Sludge Bomb, and that will get rid of the Raikou. And I think I did miss out on saying that there was a Lapras that had Ice Shard. If you ever see a Lapras with Ice Shard in these early tiers, you can probably expect that it's an Ice Shard Ice Beam because it, they came just like that out of the uh, Lapras Raid Day. They were at the right CP to just be showing up in people's recommended feeds all the time. So if they have Ice Shard, probably think that they've got Ice Beam. Now we're up against Axel Sun Lucas, Axel Sun Lucas, and we're just running this. I think we've got the like our final final team now with Skuntank, Altaria, and Bastidon. Uh, we actually didn't get to King during that other game, I don't think. So uh, I would have been the same thing if we had Altaria. But we do shield up the Aerial Ace from the Scyther, knowing that we're kind of outpacing the Scyther, so we should be able to finish it off uh, even if we go into the two shield matchup. So we throw the flamethrower, does get shielded up, uh, and then uh, we're going to get another Air Slash Aerial Ace. Is it, is it Aerial Ace? I'm, I'm totally, I'm blanking from like five seconds ago. Yeah, Aerial Ace. We're going to be able to just tank an Aerial Ace, and then we're going to get this Flamethrower off, and this will finish off that, the Scyther if it goes through. Does burn that shield though, which would like look bad for us, but just because Poison Jab does so much, we're able to absolutely clutch take out that Scyther with one HP to go. We get the Switch Advantage and the Shield Advantage, so in comes Polyrath, and now we know if we can bring in Altaria, 
we worried a little bit that he has ice punch uh so but so we do burn that last shield but it was dynamic punch which suggests that he doesn't have ice punch which is great for us and then switch that into altaria which basically sends this game into a gg because we had bastion in the back bastion being like the hardest counter you could possibly have up against altaria altaria can just do nothing up against bastion once you get yourself into this matchup it's it's ggs it's unfortunate uh so i guess that's kind of a word of warning to myself as well as anyone else uh, try and avoid switching into Altaria just because the tanks will hurt very very much uh, and so as I said before though this is the trio that I've been running ever since uh, I think I've done six battles with it total and I've won six out of six uh, I'm hoping to charge up the next five kind of soon actually while I'm recording this I've got I've got the app open just hoping to drift a little bit uh, hoping that I can get that five battles done soon uh, but we bring in Altaria and that does finish off the game for us so that is GG's and now you can, you, I'll show you some more of the Skun Tank Altaria Bastidon. Actually, in tier 2 now, up against Santos 248. Skun Tank versus uh, Kafugurus. I don't remember the name, but uh, it does switch out into Umbreon because uh, we were the dark, we had the dark typing, so Ghost wouldn't be super effective to us at all. So we switched to Bastidon to counter the tanky Umbreon. Uh, just because we're basically in a war. Like, there isn't much Umbreon can do to us. Umbreon is just going to keep throwing these charge moves, bring us down a little bit. We don't even need to throw a charge move. We're just going to smack down away. Going to charge up a whole lot of energy on this Umbreon. We will get quite low, but that's probably a good thing because it means we're not going to be able to get farmed. Uh, and we're actually kind of thinking that maybe we might run down the clock. And actually, it's at this point that I'm, I'm just realizing now. I didn't realize at the time. But this Umbreon uh, looks like it has 1,003 CP. Uh, yeah, okay, so it isn't even a powered up Umbreon. Uh, so they've obviously gone to the effort of looking into like what Pokemon are good in PvP. Um, seeing that Umbreon's good and then just use the one they've had. Unfortunately, it's enough to 1500, so it's not as bulky, tanky as it could be. But we throw the Stone Edge at the Swampit and Swampit does shield up. It is a Water Gun Swampit, not a Mud Shot. So Water Gun doesn't charge up as quick as the Mud Shot would. So we don't have to get, we don't have to be worried about so many charge moves coming our way. We go into the Altaria and gonna throw a Sky Attack now, which would, uh, I think it would finish off the Swampit at this range. It does burn the shield though. Uh, so we've still got a shield, there's no more shield on their side. So I think we are gonna burn it on this Hydro Cannon here because we know we're going to be able to take down the swamp, but actually tanking it, uh, that's, that's perfectly fine too, uh, but we're going to be able to, we're still going to be able to take down the swamp, but, uh, actually, uh, unfortunately, he does uh, get to the charge move, I think we were clicking on the sky attack at the same time, which was, I mean, I guess it w wouldn't have been a mistake if we got it off, but happy to let Altari go down, bring in Skun Tank, farm up the tiniest little bit more energy, in comes back the coffin sarcophagus dude that evolves from Yamask, that one. Uh, I really don't know these Pokemon, but we threw the sludge bomb and it turns out that was not very effective, so probably the wrong move. But now, uh, correcting ourselves, learning from our typing mismatch, throw the flamethrower. Flamethrower is going to take it, take it out, and that is GG's. So, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll I'm not sure where I'm going to go from here, whether we're going to go into more Go Battle League or whether we're going to do more Rose Cup. Like, I think Rose Cup is probably going to be the main focus, but I'll definitely be doing Go Battle League mixed in. Uh, but thank you to my Patreons, 9, Mil, 9, Miller Time, 9458, Braj SF, Ben 10 and Not Raining Newman for supporting the channel. And yeah, see you in the next video, whether it be Rose Cup or Go Battle League. We'll just have to wait and see, folks.